that she just she did a, like a little flash through the president's piece. It was excellent. She brought your name up. Spirit brought you here. I want you to reflect on a few words. She gave us the oratory on hospitality, tourism, jobs, economy, specifically dealing with McCormick and places like that. Why are we excluded? And she piggybacked right on Derek's comment dealing with the educational system. So when you came in, I'm trying to give you a two-minute tour. So mm -hmm. you already are a part of the convention piece. So it would be healthy for you to say a few words also. So you're part of the convention, what you talked about. So all y'all going to be on September 14th. Mm -hmm. That's in my hood. I'm going to talk to you. I'm, 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 I'm going to see if his analysis is right. Well, basically, okay. it's an honor to be here in this historical place when we talk about two old brother Harold Lucas, who's been champion the cause, and especially my my advisor here that keeps me in order. Even when she ain't around, she don't know that. I was right. think about her before I say something, because I don't make somebody upset <laughs> real bad, unless as I can. But again, and my sister here, who's uh, been definitely, uh, when you have a great man like that that's been on it, because everybody's not channeled to do certain things, stay on it and stay with it consistently, all the time, every time. It's a chore that most people is breathing to. Like my, what I do is just breathe, it's natural. And, and so God only give a few people that kind of, same thing Brother Derek and Brother Lynn. But I do um, uh, want to say thank you Brother John, uh, who, who's keeping the history and leg, leg, legacy going here at this institution, Fresh Legs to Brother Harold. And definitely my mentor, Brother Side Bounds, who, who is uh, another one that keeps me going when he's not around. <laughs> but I want to say this about the education. I am an educator. I've taught the school system in the suburbs. Um, we go around, one thing we failed to is to teach our children who they are. They would have maintained themselves. If they knew who they were, when we were about child or whatever they do, if they actually knew who they were, they would navigate the system themselves because the ancestors and God would have did. That's right. So since we didn't tell them who they were, the people who we gave to them didn't look like us are not going to educate our children to keep up with. So now we got chaos and miseducation of the Negro everywhere. And so what's dangerous is we've had a group of teachers that I see now, especially black women, with a, with a trillion dollar power, the third largest spender of every nation is being disrespected, ostracized from an educational system when all they have to do is walk away from that system and go at corporate. If it is about charter school, there's no corporate America that's going to turn down black women with a $20 billion buying power to set up any school that they need to donate their money. If the women stop buying purses, stop getting their hair done, and stop buying perfume, they can compete with Chicago public schools on every charter day because all they do is say we ain't buying nothing and will nothing move in this country. The scary part about that is here's a group of black women who don't want to be their own entrepreneurship then taught our children to have a job, and they still want a job. They have produced a group of babies who will never be entrepreneurs unless they walk away on dope game and do their own game. That's dangerous and scary. That's scary. Mm 